Hey, welcome back. This is Carl with secretnftgroup.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new IMX or Immutable X platform to save massive dollars on ETH. You know, those pesky little ETH costs every single time that you're minting or you're racing to mint uh, a new NFT that just comes out, a new hot and juicy NFT that you wanna get access to. But then you get hit with these 100, 200, 500, $1,000. I've even seen as high as $3,000 on some of these gas fees that are absolutely ridiculous. In fact, it's a huge pet peeve of me for me. It, I think it goes against this whole crypto idea uh, that we have to pay these extra fees. You just basically lose that money. It's like a tax that you have to pay for no absurd reason. And that is why Immutable X is actually exploding right now. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm gonna give you basically a step-by-step -step exactly how to mint and also how to move money over. And I'll also be including a tool that'll help you find rarity on that market, okay? There's a lot of things that I love about this. There's some things that are definitely fallbacks to it, but it is a new platform. And so I think that we're gonna see this thing evolve, especially when ETH is so expensive. And it uses a sort of wrapped ETH token, which is kind of cool and it cuts out all of those gas fees. In fact, each one of these mints that I did were right around five, six dollars. So you guys know what to do. Smash the hammer, smash the like button, smash the follow button. Make sure that you subscribe to this if you haven't done so already and share this with the world if you haven't done so. Make sure you just share this with other people because we're growing a free group. And if you're new to this and you've never seen my stuff before, this is part of a, of a series. If you're new to NFTs, go back to the first one, watch the series so that way you can learn and know exactly what you're doing uh, and not make a bunch of pitfalls. So let's go ahead and jump in the training right now. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Immutable X or IMX for short. It's a brand new marketplace. So basically you're gonna click on the connect wallet after you've clicked on the button and it's gonna open up your MetaMask, okay? And then you're gonna click on the MetaMask wallet that you wanna use and you're gonna hit connect. You're gonna let it connect and while it's doing that, you wanna to go to the sign in and if you've never used uh, if you've never used it before, they're basically gonna set you up with an account here on the spot as getting your signature. Give it a second, and then you're gonna choose how many you'd like to mint, one or two. And this particular one would only let me mint one at a time, so I believe I show you here at one. See, I tried to do two, it didn't work, so I had to back it down to one, and it automatically backed it down to one, and now it's opening up my Immutable X link or, or wallet. Okay, so it's loading up, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm. And then right there, it says an error, and that's because there was no money in that wallet. So we're gonna try with MetaMask. And that was an issue on their part. So we're gonna click on confirm. And as you can see, the, the fees are very low. And that's the point of using Immutable X, is the fees are gonna be super low when you use it. Now, we're gonna give it some time and I'm gonna fast forward this part of the video. Here you can see what they're currently selling for. So I bought it for 0 0.05 and they're selling for 0.19. So I can immediately make you know a, a 4X return. Okay, so you can see that it's sent and I can, I can look at the wallet if I want to. There's a little link on the bottom, but it says that it's delivered to my inventory and I did buy two, by the way. It came back and I did two uh, at the same, uh, one after another. So let that load up for a second, shouldn't take too long. And I do like how Immutable X is, uh, works, it's a great, great little marketplace. Um, let those load up, kind of takes a little bit of time, but you can see they're starting to load up there. And you can see there's a preview missing, but it's just because everything is getting set up and this is where it's gonna live. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of these here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell it. But before I do that, I wanna look to see how much are they selling for on the current market. So you can see they're at uh, 0 0.194. So we're gonna figure out a good number and we're gonna go ahead and try to sell it. The only thing is you're not gonna be able to use OpenSeas or any other e Ethereum uh, marketplace. You have to sell it on Immutable X and they don't give us a lot of information. So I'm gonna click on that one and get it ready for sell. 
So we'll go ahead and add 1 point, 0.1918 and we'll hit list for sell. And then we'll open up the wallet again, the immutable wallet or IMX for short. And so basically it's gonna load up and we need to basically approve this by hitting confirm. And then our MetaMask wallet is gonna pop up and we need to sign or confirm. So we'll hit the signature request and there you go, it should be good. So, I, oh, I have to hit finish. And it says right there, listing confirmed. So we know that the listing is confirmed and now we're gonna see how long it takes to sell, which will be in the very next part of this video. And that was super fast. It actually is already sold, even though you can see it there. I can go to transactions, it's gonna load up and you're gonna see once it pops up here that it's gonna say sold. So give it a second, transactions are, are loading up and then right there you can see it says sold. So that's incredibly quick, um, even though they don't give you a lot of analytics and that's something that they are lacking, um, still sold fairly quick. In this part, what I'm gonna do is show you how to get your money out of Immutable and back into your MetaMask wallet because it's basically their own coin, okay? So you're gonna head on over to the right-hand side there where it says that you can, you can deposit money or you can um, use the immutable right here to bring ETH back into your wallet. <clears throat> and basically it's just a, la a layer two of ETH. So that's why they have such cheap rates, but you can see what's available and how much you can move over into the wallet that's connected to your account. So I'm gonna put in the full amount, the, the 0.1918, and then we're gonna connect directly into the immutable platform. Uh, this does take a little bit of time. I'm gonna hit confirm and yeah, go ahead and hit confirm here just to make sure it says that there'll be extra gas fees. And then when it opens up, you'll see that you need a signature request. And what this is doing is it seems like they're setting these up in batches. So it's not immediate. That's definitely one downfall currently. I could see it probably speeding up in the future but they're sending these out in batches. So I, I literally had to wait about eight hours before the money actually comes back into my MetaMask wallet, um, but it's worth it, right? Because I just made you know a 5X profit, which ended up being around $1,100 for a very small investment. Um, of course, there's the possibility that this project would go up and there's the possibility that this project would go down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video on this little part and then add to the next part in just a second. So keep keep listening. So while we're waiting for that to move over, um, I went into their, their support documents and I just wanna make sure that we understand that this is irreversible once you prepare and you start it. Uh, a couple other things that you wanna keep in mind that it only works with ETH. Obviously it's an ETH layer two platform, um, but they are, I believe they're saying that they might add more in the future and you can't move over. Uh, it does, can, it can take up to 24 hours. And one of my friends uh, said it took him eight hours. I do wanna mention too, you cannot move the NFTs yet. That will be something as well that will come uh, in the near future. So maybe you could list these on open seas in the near future, but currently that's not available. It's pretty much an inclusive platform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to this below in the video. So that way you can read this in case it changes in the future. And obviously this is a new platform. So these platforms do change quite often. So I just wanna put that in there and and keep paying attention because on this next one, we're gonna show the completion. And while we're waiting for that transaction to load, I also wanna mention a great tool that has come out for the IMX platform is called Token Trove. And this is actually a place where you can find rarities for any NFT that you've purchased on that platform. Uh, and you can see on the left-hand side, you can do a search and you can scroll through some of these to figure out which one you wanna do. And obviously, people are loving IMX because you don't pay any gas fees. I think it was $5 for me to mint that one that you just saw, the Moon Garage, Moonshot Garage one. So I can just cl click on here and just find a random one real quickly, okay? And we're gonna open up this one and you can see on the left-hand side that you can see the different types. These would be the different attributes that you would be looking for. And on this one, you're gonna look at land because this is some sort of metaverse NFT that came out and you can just play around with it. You can zoom in, zoom out, move things around and just kind of figure it out from there. It's not too hard. Let's look at a different collection though. Let's look at uh, this one here, Angry Orc Club. Uh, actually, that one's actually not out yet. So let's look at a different one. So yeah, because as you can see, these are you're not gonna be able to see the actual attributes for each of these. And you can list by lowest price to highest as well. So it's great for sniping. Um, let's look at this one, it's called Crypto Crappies. 
I think it's more of a joke parody one, but you can go and look at uh, which ones are there. Now, th again, this is a very new platform, just like IMX. So they're not gonna give you everything that you're looking for. I think eventually you will see better rarity, especially on some of the different attributes, like ones that have less attributes than others. And so again, this is just a, a good little place to go in the meantime while it's new. Now you could be watching this video and it could be already updated and even better, but um, I can tell you this, that it runs incredibly smooth. And that is something that I do actually enjoy about playing around with some of this new uh, tech that's just come out. All right, so I wasn't able to actually show you this next step. So what I'm gonna do is actually just simulate it and kind of show you how that works. Um, so basically when you come into here where it says inventory, this is where your, your actual immutable X is gonna be at. It's at market.x.immutable.com or you could just go to immutable.com and hit marketplace. But once you're inside of here and you can see, we've got these two options on the right hand side. And these two options here, one says Immutable X, where you can deposit uh, your Ethereum and it'll turn it into Immutable X. And then here is where you're gonna actually take a distribution um, or withdrawal. So when you clicked on that, and I showed you that earlier, this is where you would pick your withdrawal and you would send it to your wallet. The wallet is already connected and that's kind of connecting to your account. So you guys know that. Um, but what's gonna happen, and I know you're not seeing it here and I apologize, but there's gonna be a little link that pops up right here. When that link pops up, and it did take a good eight or nine hours before the uh, distribution access uh, came up, I actually had to wait. So that's why you know I wasn't able to record it at that moment. But there's gonna be a link that pops up right here. It's gonna open up just like it normally does inside of the Immutable X uh, wallet. I think they're calling it the wallet. I don't know, it, I guess it's their wallet. Uh, it's not a Chrome extension or anything like that. So it'll pop up and then it'll actually connect to your MetaMask wallet and you'll just basically sign that you want to accept it and then it'll immediately move over. Uh, what was kind of nice about it though is I paid about $60 in gas fees, which still I normally would think that, that was ridiculous, but I'm actually happy for it because if I would have minted that on any other um, any other platform uh, directly with ETH, it probably would have cost me 100 to 200 to $300, depending on what the cost of gas was at that time. And so because I did it here, it was very low. So you figure about $65 when you move that money over, it still is gonna be depending on gas, but it's like moving a token versus uh, buying into a new token, which would be like buying a, an NFT, which I think would keep your, your gas prices down a little bit, but it also gives you some time to figure out when you want to move that money over once it's available in here. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I think that they do this in batches, which basically means that you're not gonna get access to that money right away. Uh, instead, it's gonna send that money directly uh, into like a, like a holding area and then once they've approved it, which would be in that batch, then it would come out available for you and then you could move that money directly over to your Ethereum account from that point or your MetaMask wallet from that point. So if you're looking for immediate return, it's not gonna work. You may actually even wanna keep that Ethereum inside of the immutable uh, area because maybe you wanna shop and look at some of these other NFTs that are available inside of their marketplace. And even some of, that, some of them that are coming up um, you're gonna be able to mint directly with the IMX um, receiver as well or wallet. And you'll see that as an option on that mint itself. You wanna make sure that you read carefully how each of these are doing it because this one that came out bad grandma, they actually didn't allow you to connect to your IMX wallet even though it was on IMX. They made you connect directly utilizing your MetaMask wallet, which most likely that's what everybody was doing. However, they didn't give the option. So you wanna make sure you know that in, in ahead of time so that way you have enough ETH in your MetaMask wallet versus having it in your immutable uh, wallet. So that way you can send the money uh, right away during that launch, okay? And so I'll open up and just kind of look at this in this um, marketplace and kind of give you sort of how the marketplace does work real quickly. So I can come in here and, and I could look at the lowest to highest and that's probably what you're gonna look at first. And you could see that someone's already selling, oh, it looks like they sold them, but someone was selling them at 0 0.04 and now they're at 0 0.06. 
So probably wasn't a great deal for some of the people who got into this one. It was definitely not one that I recommended. Uh, I did look at it, but it was just one that I didn't recommend. Um, I just didn't see it, but uh, that's for a different video. All right, guys, so I wanna end with my conclusion on how, how I think about it overall, okay? First off, I absolutely actually love the platform itself. I think it runs very, very well. I love the fact that it saves you money on gas, but there are some pitfalls, okay? And I do wanna talk about, uh, it's, I wouldn't say pitfalls, okay? I'd actually say that there are some things that it's lacking and it's just because most likely because it's a brand new platform and they probably also wanna keep some of their hosting cost low. And so here's some of the things as a developer, I know how some of the stuff works, uh, but here are some of the things that I didn't like about the platform itself, other than all the savings that it gives you on gas. Uh, the number one thing is that it does take some time for you to move the money from your uh, IMX wallet back into your MetaMask wallet, and it is gonna charge you some gas fees. Those gas fees can be lower because you'll have time to figure out when the gas fees are the lowest, and that's when you could actually move that money unless you need it immediately, okay? So that's, one, that's the number one thing. The second thing is that there is no analytics whatsoever. The only thing I can do is I could look at this high to low and kind of get a guesstimate, but I don't know how many people are buying these. I'm not able to really look down at traits individually, like I can open this up and, and see some traits this way, but I'm not able to see them on the actual direct listing itself. I'm not seeing how quickly these things are selling or flying off the shelf. So let's say I'm like, oh wow, this one went down. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one right here. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work that great for me because I don't know if it's selling that well and I'm not able to see the ebb and flows uh, of this particular market. And I think that's important. We don't need, we are not able to see who's, which ones are selling the most. We're not able to see who's buying what. We're not able to see uh, how much is sold total. So we're missing a lot of analytics here, which again, this is something that is either done by uh, by planning and it's something that they'll roll out eventually. Um, but I do know as a developer, when it comes to analytics, that has a lot of server hits and that could be pretty expensive to run that consistently in real time uh, on a new platform like this. Now, I do know that you know they're probably doing pretty well at even $5 a piece, which is saving everybody tons of money and gas, uh, which is basically like their little fees that they put on there. I absolutely love that, but those are really my two main um, my two main things that I don't really you know I'm not really a huge fan of, but I do get it as a new marketplace emerges that it's just going to be something that will be eventually better and better as the time goes on. Um, I did see that it did they did get crashed. Uh, pretty bad during one of the launches. And so there was a lot of records that had to be sort of uh, backed up and that some of the people who got their NFT, they actually had to wait up to eight hours for it to even show up in their account. And so, you know, things move fast, but in a way that could have been a blessing and in some ways that could have been a curse because for some people they're able to flip fast if that's what their uh, their motivation was and some others had to wait, but even though they waited, the price actually went up during that time and so they actually made more money when they flipped it uh, at that time. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end you with that. I hope you really enjoyed this training so far. Um, I love putting this together. I have a huge passion, if you haven't noticed already, when it comes to NFTs. Um, I'm just wanting to give you guys this content for absolutely nothing. I'm not making you sign up for anything. In fact, there's no sign up forms anywhere. Um, just some links to click. When you click on the secretnftgroup.com, you're gonna actually be taken to a page that will either help you get set up with a Discord account or uh, if you already have a Discord account, it'll help you sign up for free. You do need to have a Discord account, which will be free uh, to set up. And then once you have that Discord account, you can join our Discord where we have other like-minded NFT enthusiasts. We have newbies and we have experts who are um, doing really well. In fact, we've had already some success stories. We'll get into those uh, when you jump in there and you see it. There's actually gonna be a spot for that. We're gonna continue to grow this group and help other people that are like-minded and are people that are just like you. So, so if you haven't seen this, uh, seen the value in this by now. I don't know what else to do for you. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with other people. And if you're new to this video, again, go back to the first one and go through the whole series. Join the group, get access to the free resource guide that I put together. And I'm going to leave you with that note. Uh, we'll see you here very soon on the next one. Take care.